Thanks, Jeff. Now to our top story tonight. The death toll from the Legionnaire's disease outbreak has risen again. New York City health officials say the death count is now 12, up from 10 at the end of last week. They say the total number of those who are or have been sick is 113. But most importantly, there have been no new cases diagnosed since August 3rd, an indication that the outbreak may be easing. Meanwhile, today, a Hudson Valley factory was reopened after a worker there tested positive for the disease. Fox One's Christina Chiarelli has that part of the story from Orangeburg in Rockland County. Chrome Alloy employees were back to work Monday after the gas turbine company shut down Friday because of one employee who became ill with Legionnaire's disease. The plant cleaned its cooling towers, injecting biocide to kill any possible bacteria found in mist or water vapor, which can make people sick if it's inhaled. A spokeswoman for the company says, while it remains unclear if our employee was exposed to the Legionella bacterium at the facility, based on our conversations with the experts, we took all all the necessary precautions in addressing any risks that could have existed at the plant. The disease's first outbreak on record was in 1976 at an American Legion convention in Philadelphia and was deadly because physicians didn't fully understand the cause. At the time, Dr. Azriel Cornell was interning at a hospital in Washington, D.C. A young African-American in his 20s came in who was otherwise healthy and he had a uh, case of what looked like onset of pneumonia, which is unusual in a rather in an otherwise young male. The young man was the first patient to survive the disease under Dr. Cornell's care. His pneumonia was very severe and he was in the intensive care unit for over a week and it was 24 hours a day taking care of him. While the disease isn't contagious, officials say the Chrome Alloy employee is recovering at home. The company says they'll continue working with health officials to make sure the facility is safe for employees and the community. In Orangeburg, Christina Chiarelli. The body of a man has been found in the Hudson River in the Poughkeepsie.